Hey everybody, today on Bella Renavare, we are gonna be making over this, I actually don't even really know what we're gonna call this. These look like vents, but they're not. It looks like a drawer, but it's not. This opens. We've got some drawers down here. It's very mid-century modern looking. So we are gonna make this over, and if you wanna see the transformation of this piece, stay tuned because we're gonna get started. This piece, I got it from Luxembourg and it opens up. I'm not quite sure what was in there before, but it has this opening and then it also has three drawers. So I'm actually gonna use it for myself for storage in my paint room because I have way too much stuff and not enough storage. I always start every makeover with removing hardware. I always remove the hardware unless it's something that was a request and someone wanted it to be part of the piece. But in general, I'd say 95% of the time, I always take the hardware off first. The next step after removing the hardware is cleaning the piece. For this one, I took the drawers out. I usually take the drawers out of every piece so that way I can vacuum inside of it, clean the inside of it, because you really just never know. And so I like to give each piece a really good thorough clean before I go any further. I always use Dixie Belle's White Lightning to clean my pieces. I didn't show it on here, but I usually use warm water and then I pour the White Lightning mix in there and I always use gloves. You're going to clean the piece down with it and then after you're done cleaning the piece with the White Lightning, you wanna go over it with clean, warm water to get any residual TSP White Lightning off. That way you're, you don't have any adhesion issues when it comes to painting. I wanted to change the hardware on this piece and the new hardware, the holes wouldn't match up. So what I did is I plugged the holes with my Dixie Mud in white. It also comes in brown and black. And what this is, is it is a wood filler and it sands away really nicely. So I used a plastic spatula and I put it over the existing holes of the hardware. And what you're gonna do is wait for it to dry and you can sand it off and then it will be ready for you to paint over. For this project, I use dried sage as my base coat. I know there's caviar in there, pretend like that is not there because I didn't end up using it. I also used manatee gray, terracotta, kernel mustard, antebellum blue, and mermaid tail for this. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want. So my next step was to make my actual lines for my chevron. What I did is I took my metal T-square, my large metal T-square, which you can get one at the, the local hardware store if you want, it's not very expensive. And I found the center of the piece. I just used the existing hardware hole, assuming that was the center. <laughs> but I drew a line with my pencil all the way down the center of the piece first. That way I could mark exactly where the middle of my piece was. What we need to do next is actually start our chevron pattern. 
I took my plastic square, which the center's broken if you can't tell, so make sure you get one that's not broken. And I made a triangle shape coming off of the very top of the center line right underneath the, that little area that looks like there's vents. So I used my triangle square. That way I could get perfect lines because we want symmetry and we want perfect lines for this piece. I wanted my lines to be fairly thick. So I want them to be four inches from the other line, the original line that we started. So I took my measuring tape and I measured down a four inch mark all the way down to the end of the piece where I knew that I wanted my lines to be. Once I had marked four inches down the entire piece, where I wanted that second line to be, I used my plastic square and I drew a straight line down so that we could continue the chevron pattern. You're going to continue this process all the way down your piece. Again, minus four inches. You could have your stripes be one inch, two inch, whatever you want. So mark your four inch lines and then use a square to make sure that you are using straight lines. Do tick marks down the piece and then line those lines up for a perfect symmetrical pattern. You are done measuring now. So the next step is to tape off these areas for paint so that you have nice crisp lines. I like using painter's tape. My favorite has become this Styx brand. I get it from Amazon. When I was in the States, I used to use frog tape, but I've really grown to love this tape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape off our first section. I'm going to tape above the first pencil line on this chevron pattern. Okay, so now that I have put the tape on that part, I'm going to start with putting tape down the center. So I'm gonna put the tape to the right of the center line. You wanna make sure that you are burnishing or rubbing down your tape in place to secure it. That way you don't have any paint seep under. But think about the fact that what we're doing is we're kind of boxing off each Sevron pattern so that way it's ready for paint. I need all the help I can get remembering exactly what I'm doing and where I'm at. So I like to take a pencil and I like to mark the area that I'm actually supposed to be painting once everything's taped off. So what we're doing is we're going to, I want you to think about it this way. We taped off the top part and that very top part that we painted off will be painting there. Then we're going to skip the next chevron and we're going to paint off the outline of the third chevron down. We'll paint inside of there so on and so forth. So we're gonna start with the left side first because we did 
tape over the center of that line. We can't paint the right side because if we did, then we'd have a space. So we're focusing on the left side first. We're gonna start with our first color, which is Terracotta by Dixie Belle. Try to stay in those tape lines. Don't paint over that tape, otherwise you're gonna have to fix it. That I'm going to paint the very top. First, I'm going to paint one layer, let it dry, do my second layer, and while that paint is still wet, I'm going to pull my tape off. I'm moving on to my next color, which is antebellum blue. What I'm gonna do is paint this, then we'll move down, I'll do manatee gray, we'll paint a coat of that, then I'll go back up to the terracotta, do a coat of that, pull off the tape while it's still wet, and do the same thing with antebellum blue and the manatee gray. Okay, so now that we have painted the three chevrons on the left side, we're going to flip over to the right side really quick. I am going to, first of all, make sure that my paint is really good and dry, and I'm going to put tape over top of the center part of the chevrons that we just painted because we're gonna start painting the ones that are adjacent to it. So we're gonna start blocking those off so that way we can paint those ones. And we're going to use an X-Acto knife to actually cut that pre-existing tape off that we had put originally. I want to leave the tape on the chevrons that we're not gonna be painting just because I don't wanna waste it. So that's what we're gonna do is block off the right side just like we did the left side. Hopefully I don't confuse you and you're still with me. Once I had everything taped off on the right-hand side, I went back down to the bottom chevron that I painted and I used the terracotta and I painted that one again. I'm gonna use each color twice. So I will paint another area with the terracotta, another area with the antebellum blue, another area with the manatee gray, and then the other color. Each paint color will have a chevron stripe on each side. Now that I have explained to you how I've taped things off and how I am getting nice, clean, crisp lines, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape off this antebellum blue area and I'm going to paint the rest so the other areas will be in manatee gray, mermaid tail, and colonel mustard. Okay, I am done painting my entire piece and so now we need to add the hardware. The first step is to find the center point of our drawers, that way we have everything even. So I'm going to measure the center of the drawer and halfway down, obviously the middle of it, and I'm gonna mark that with my pencil. So then what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually going to mark the middle of the hardware so I know where it's gonna be. That's easier for me to make these holes. And so I'm gonna measure that, the middle, I'm gonna line that up against the dot that I just made and then I'm going to put my hardware there line it up and then I'm gonna flip it down and I'm gonna mark it with my pencil those lines are gonna mark where I need to drill my holes
Once I was done with my hardware, putting the hardware on, I wanted to continue the lines down the sides of the pieces because my OCD just had to have it. I couldn't stop it in the front. So what I did is I took my T-square and I made the lines which matched up to the three colors that would go across the side naturally on the side of the piece. Then I taped off the lines, painted them, did the same thing in the front where I did two layers. So I did the first layer, let it dry, second layer, pulled the tape off and voila. I sealed this piece with Dixie Bell's Easy Peasy Spray Wax, which I didn't show, but it's super easy. You just spray it on there, rub it in, and it cures super fast. It cures within seven days. Okay, everybody, so this piece is done. And now it's time to stage it and get it ready for pretty pictures. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell and you'll get all the latest videos. I think Fridays are gonna be my posting day. So you can expect a video every Friday, unless something crazy happens. And everything I use will be in the description below. So you can always hit that little description and it'll pop everything down and you'll see everything that I use. Until next week, thank you guys so much for watching and happy creating and, and I'll see you next time. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again And tell me what you want This time I won't take it to the heart Cause I know we won't make it out So let's move on